Hello everyone. In today's uh, lecture, it's uh, lecture five, the third part of it, and uh, I'm gonna talk about the third method of uh, dealing or drawing uh, a plan. So in the previous uh, videos that I posted, I uh, you know explained uh, the first method, which is roughly this one, which is based on a provision of an external dimension, and we did this uh, you know simple plan for it. And uh, another one we have like uh, the same the same concept or the same method, which is the provision of everything from outside uh, that you need to go from the outside boundary of the plan of the of the house, for example, or you can go and follow the outside of the land and then you know I'm sorry, the outside of the land uh, here, and then you go from it to the outside of the uh, of the house or the other way you know around. Anyway, that's the first method. The second method was basically depending on the existence of a grid or axis, and they are just dedicated for those load-bearing walls. And in this method, there was no columns, and uh, you have to go and start doing those uh, grids first, and then you know offset them up and down half of the thickness of the wall to create the wall. And then you use fillet and some extendant trim to get out the required shape. Another uh, plan following the same thing is this method again. The same techniques, it's a grid method, no columns. And they are just basically, uh, you know, like a load bearing walls. That's the first method and the second method, it's been explained. And, and now I'm going to talk about the third method, which is basically. Uh, there is a grid in it, an axis in it, and there is columns as you can see. And now in this method, the external walls like here, those yellow lines, will just act as a partitions actually. They don't carry any structural load and those columns are the one who is actually responsible about carrying the loads and the rest will have, you know, the walls have nothing to do with this job. So that's, uh, you have to start up with the grid first that's the basic rule and the second step to get this 400 by 400 column and I will just move that guy uh, probably shift and right click to get wait move space and shift and right click mid between two points so I'm gonna hold it from the center and push it here and then with copy I'll just make a multiple uh, copies of that to the intersection point of the grids except this one so that's basically it and uh, just change the color here and start drawing the external walls which is again they act as walls but in reality they're just a partition they don't carry any loads so I'm not gonna you know pass over the columns and draw above them just rather that I'm just gonna stop at the edge of the column I'm gonna offset in this example it's a 200 mil I'm just gonna make it 150 just to uh, sorry offset 150 and uh, you know oops offset 0.15 and do this I really need to show you that that the axis have nothing to do with the with the with the walls actually and they are just like a partitions as I said uh, that's all it's uh, the rest is basically uh, me doing an offset for the inside to find out the external parameter or external boundaries wall for the building and the rest is just partition so you draw a line from here to here and then offset it and then draw another line and that's it you're gonna continue with drawing doors and windows so that's uh, that's basically it that's the third method is uh, based on the existence of grids and columns and the partitions or the external walls will have nothing to load nothing to carry and they will start or actually they're going to draw a flush with the external face of the columns and you're going to offset them to the inside and they have those walls nothing to do with this axis uh, this is the third method thank you for watching and have a good day